You've probably heard about CBD products, right? But what is CBD? It stands for cannabidiol, the second most prevalent of the active ingredients in cannabis. And thanks to the rising popularity of CBD products, the cannabis industry is experiencing unparalleled growth. In 2018 alone, it was a $4.6 billion industry, and the number is expected to grow exponentially in the next five years. The positive effects of CBD products have been well documented, and people are turning to them more and more. Of course, that means that lots of different CBD products are popping up in stores and online. So how do you cut through all the hype and find the best products for you? Well, today I'm gonna to help you do just that with the ultimate guide to CBD. I'm Beth Troutman and Access Health starts right now. There are a lot of misconceptions out there when it comes to cannabis and CBD. The medical use of cannabis has a robust history with China recording uses as early as 3000 BC. Also, did you know that cannabis extracts were listed in the United States Pharmacopoeia for almost a century? Guilty by association to its cannabis cousin, THC, the US government has been criminalizing cannabis since 1937. However, legislation and public opinion are changing people are beginning to look at the other side of the hemp leaf. They're looking for alternative approaches to their well-being, and CBD products are at the top of a lot of people's minds when it comes to plant-based wellness options. But how do you sift through all of the information that's out there so that you can make the most informed decision for yourself? I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina at the headquarters of CBDMD, a company that's focused on consumer health advocacy, trust, and education. I'm here to meet with Chairman and Co-CEO Marty Sumacras to find out more. Marty, thank you so much for sitting down with me. I'm excited to talk in detail about these products with you. Thank you for having me. Let's first talk about the all-important hemp plant, which I know has a high concentration of CBD in it. And I know that growth really increased after the passage of the Farm Bill in 2018, and that changed the industry, right? It really did. Well, prior to that, CBD and hemp was a controlled substance. So when the passage of the Farm Bill happened, all of a sudden it kind of opened the floodgates, and now you could go out there and not be worried about the DEA anymore. And it was really the big watershed moment for the entire CBD industry. So let's talk about some of the misconceptions. The, the difference between hemp, Marijuana, CBD, people have, people confuse them all, right? Right, What's right. the difference? First of all, CBD does not get you high. There's the first thing, you know, there's no psychoactive ingredient. Now, marijuana, which has the THC in it, that does get you high. Second of all, you know, the hemp plant is used for a lot of things. It's been around for thousands of years, and you probably know it's used in various things from clothing to carpets to everything else. And out of the hemp plant, you can process CBD. People think that all CBD products are the same, and that's just not true, right? No, no, and that's one of the biggest issues in our industry is when the, when the industry really came out at the end of 2018, there were a lot of companies that came to market. You know, not everybody did it the right way and then of course in any new industry you have the people that are cutting corners and what that led to is products that are out in the market that weren't labeled correctly we're making claims that you simply can't make and the good thing is the government the FDA has really clamped down on that and and cut a lot of that out you know here at CBDMD we've taken the position that this is a long game and I think we've built a company that's delivered the customers a product that they can trust every time they use it Another priority of yours, which uh, is amazing, is that it's important for you to buy American. Why is that important when talking about CBD products? Well, you know, first of all, we're an American company. Second of all, making sure that we can control the quality. To be here in the U.S., you have more control over that. The rules and regulations are better. Our FDA is great. We feel that putting our efforts here in the U.S., where most of our customers are right now, and buying U.S., you know, we can control it. We can deliver a product on a consistent basis. For you all, for CBDMD, it is really, truly all about wellness. From the science therapeutics point of view, you know, we're just getting started 
on what's the possibilities out there for, for CBD. And then there's a lot of other compounds together with CBD that we haven't even scratched the surface on that have, you know, we believe uh, potential uh, real health benefits going out in the future. So there's a lot of, lot of room for growth and a, and a lot of products and things that we can provide our customers and new customers really globally to help them with their health and wellness. I have so loved chatting with you. Thank you so sure. much for your time. And I can't wait to learn more. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, I so appreciate it. And coming up, what you should be looking for in your quest to find the right CBD products for you. Finding the CBD product that's right for you can be a daunting task. You have to consider the kind of CBD product you're looking for, its potency, and of course, quality. And all of that depends on the provider and the manufacturer. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. This is such an exciting time. You're really working for a company that's moving an entire industry forward. What's it like working with a company responsible for a lot of firsts? We here at CBDMD are certainly known, we're certainly recognized as the leader in the CBD category, um, an innovator. Think of it this way, um, we founded CBD Day, we founded CBD Month. We were the first brand to align with a PGA golfer the first brand to align with a major professional sports partnership, even our television advertising. Everything we do in the category is to set the tone for the category and set the tone for the industry as the leader, as a company of first. Our ticker symbol, YCBD, really starts really with that. Um, it's not just uh, a business uh, hook, it's a marketing hook. Why CBD? It's so great that it is your symbol and it's also the question that people want to know, why CBD? And you are the chief marketing officer for a really innovative team and you're really reaching people in some creative ways. Talk to me about that. Well, it really comes down to the, the topic that, that we discuss each and every day, which is education. Uh, Farm Bill passed a little over two years ago. And here we are two years later, and I would tell you that understanding and awareness of what CBD is, uh, is low. And we look at it as an informed consumer is an engaged consumer. Mm -hmm. And an engaged consumer is one that at least provides us with the opportunity to have an advocate for the category and for the brand. Just to expand upon that, if you're trying to reach um, not only your customers, but potential customers with the right kind of information, how do you go about doing that? Well, we have a lot of tools that we use, uh, whether it's on our website, through our social, uh, how we engage our consumers through blogs, uh, how-to guides, um, our athletes and our influencers. We use all these tools in our toolbox to tell that story. And ultimately, um, it's not just about educating them about CBDMD, but really it's about the category as a whole. So when it comes to educating people, what is it that you really want consumers to know? What should they be looking for? Ultimately, when they do their research, they should be looking for a brand that's safe, a brand that's trustworthy, and a brand that's effective. And so, they need to be looking for a brand that provides COAs, certificates of analysis, to really understand about what's in their product. It's not just the most expensive brand, right? There's a lot of different layers as you explore what brand is right for you. Ultimately, we hope that they lead themselves to our brand, but they need to educate themselves on the category as a whole. We like to think of ourselves as the superior CBD. We feel like consumers will feel the same way when they dig in. So that leads me to really want to know more about the manufacturing process and the science behind CBDMD. So I feel like I need to talk to uh, the right person. We have just the guy. His name is Justin. You'll love him. Okay. I trust in you here. Just like CBDMD. Coming up, we'll take a closer look into the science behind CBD. Welcome back. There is a lot of hype surrounding CBD products from them being able to help with everyday anxiety and sending you to sleep sooner to cutting down the risk of dementia or potentially even treating cancer. 
But what does the science say about CBD and how does it affect the body? Access Health caught up with Dr. Carl Speraza, a family practice physician with a passion for CBD. As a osteopathic physician, we've always been trained on the holistic approach to medicine. And we have more to offer than just pharmaceutical pills. So you need all your wellness, you need to sleep, you need good nutrition. And along the way, you learn to find that echinacea has been helpful for your immune system. Vitamin C has been very effective. We learn about melatonin. So we incorporate that into our practice as we look at the whole patient. When the Farm Bill of 2018 was passed, it opened the door for use of hemp oil and CBD. And since CBD is not FDA scrutinized or regulated, much along the lines of vitamins and supplements, it left providers, some of them, with literally their head in the sand. But the way things are today, patients are educated. They're learning online. And it's our obligation to educate them based on the science that's currently available. So as I researched hemp oil and the benefits of the hemp plant, there's been studies mostly coming out of Israel and abroad and to a lesser degree the United States, but the plant shows very good promise as far as treating and preventing certain diseases. In fact, in 2003, the U U.S. Department of Health actually has the patent for CBD as neuroprotectant, anti-inflammatory, and safe. The World Health Organization released a whole thorough report on potential benefits. CBD interacts with our body's own endogenous or naturally produced endocannabinoid system. And the CBD is called a phytocannabinoid because it comes from a plant. So in turn, that phytocannabinoid, the CBD, does much the same thing as our body's own natural production of the endocannabinoids. So therefore, we get similar beneficial effects. And we have two receptors. We have CB1 and CB2. CB1 is mostly in the brain. So that's more your central nervous system. It also affects your spinal cord, motor movement, anxiety, inflammation. And the other receptor, CB2, is more in the periphery or the other parts of your body your skin, your gastrointestinal system, your heart, your immune system. CBD has shown tremendous benefits, and through studies that we've read, it shows that it could be helpful for anxiety, for sleep, as an antioxidant, as a neuroprotectant. It could help support your immune system. It's good for muscle spasms. We're seeing some studies that are showing benefits in treating PTSD, and it's just opening up a world of opportunity to be explored. So the future of CBD is very promising because it's leading into more investigation into how our body works, how it creates that homeostasis, how we get that balance between our organs and our other body systems. So it does open the door to more research and we have tremendous opportunity to offer benefits to patients in the future as well. People are really talking about CBD. There's a lot of hype about all of the different products and the positive impact they're having on people's lives. Coming up, I go behind the scenes to get a first-hand look at the science behind getting CBD safely into the hands of the public. Stay with us. We all want to feel our best, and many people believe that CBD products can drastically improve our everyday wellness journey. But how do we know that we're getting high quality products when there are so many options out there? I met with Chief Scientific Officer Justin Crumrine at the CBDMD Laboratory to find out exactly what we need to be looking for. This space is super impressive. Tell me a little bit about the, the quality of CBD MD. I mean, what makes it stand out from all the rest? Well, it really starts with the ingredients and the hemp that we use for our CBD. Uh, it's grown in America, it's non GMO, uh, very high quality standards for all of the ingredients that go into our products. 
and then high quality manufacturing processes and, and testing as well of the finished goods. Let's talk about the testing because I understand that you go through a lengthy process before your products ever hit the store shelves. You've got third party testing, lab certification. What does all of that mean? Talk to me about it. So we have a very robust testing program. Uh, all of our Ingredients are thoroughly tested and uh, verified for their identity, purity, and concentration, as well as all of the hemp ingredients that we use as well to make our broad spectrum hemp products and really make sure that we're providing the customer the most efficacious and also safest products that, that we can produce. I love to hear that because you're thinking about the customer. Now you just said this, broad spectrum hemp extract. What does that mean? There's a few different kinds of extracts. There's a full spectrum extract, which has all of the cannabinoids and terpenes from the cannabis plant, as well as some residual THC, which is the psychoactive component of cannabis. Our broad spectrum hemp extract has still all of the beneficial cannabinoids and terpenes, but the THC has been removed. So we use very high purity isolates that we blend in a ratio that's representative of what's found in nature, but the THC is removed, so you can feel safe knowing that a, you won't uh, have any psychoactive effects or that you're just getting the medicine that you need and that you want. It really is an amazing process. And I'm super excited because next I'm meeting with Micah and I get to try some of these products. Great, I'm sure you'll love them. I'm excited. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you. CBDMD has quite the impressive team working behind the scenes to navigate an ever-expanding CBD marketplace. Right now, I am thrilled to be sitting here with Micah Siegelman. She is the Senior Director of Digital Marketing here at CBDMD. I'm so excited because I've learned about CBDMD all day today. I've learned about the products, I've learned about the process, but now I'm gonna to get to talk in detail about the products, maybe even try yes. some of your products. But before we get into that, <laughs> I do wanna to talk to you about how you, because I know this is your role with the company, how do you build trust with consumers and how do you get those consumers to keep coming back, you know, maintain their loyalty to a product? It's a really good question and it is the most important question for us here as a marketing department at CBDMD. Um, the, the biggest thing for us is to make sure that we're transparent and that we're giving people all of the information that they need. So I'm sure you learned about it today uh, with Justin and with the lab, you know, we're one of the most certified labs you can get. We try to get every certification we can. Um, we also try to be very transparent. All of our COAs are right there on the website. You can look up the batch of any product that you get. You can look it right up there. Uh, and and see all the test results on it. And then of course we get recognized for that as well, which really helps build trust. So over the past two years, actually four of our CBD MD products have been selected as product of the year, which we're very excited about. Last year, two of our products were the 2020 Kantar Project of the Year, and again, two different products won that award um, this year. So we're very lucky to have that. That's pretty incredible. And I know that the, the gummies are incredibly popular. Yes. I get to try those today, right? Yes, let's get you some of those gummies. Uh, so the gummies themselves, this is our most popular product. Uh, they come in five different uh, milligrams. So everybody can pick the one that works best for them. Uh, and I think that you'll find that they're a little bit tastier than some of the other CBD gummies out there. Ooh, they're yes. multicolored. Multicolored, this is a tropical mix. So there's four different flavors in here. You get all four in every bottle. What do you think? Wow, those are tasty. I can see why that is product of the year and I can see why it's such a popular product for everybody because you get the benefits and you get a yummy flavor. Yes. And they're kind of fun to chew. They're very fun to chew. And I'm super impressed about the fact that you have CBD products for your pets because we all love to, to spoil our pets. Very much so. And, and because we come from CBDMD, it's a CBDMD brand, um, we have all of those rigorous processes in place for that as well. So we are uh, very lucky to have a really robust line for our PAW CBD products. We have specialty formulas for hip and joint, um, calming chews, of course, which are were a big award winner for us as well. Thank you so much. You all have been absolutely fantastic today. You're welcome. We're very happy to have you here. We're proud of our product and we're excited to show it off. Well, you should be. That stuff is tasty. <laughs> Good. Folks, if you would like more information, all you have to do is head to the website cbdmd.com or you can always check out our website, accesshealth.tv. We'll see you next time.